Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review of the D-Link DIR655 Extreme N router. This router is probably the best router I've ever had. It has great range, speeds up to 300 megabytes per second by wireless, and it has gigabit ethernet ports, giving you one gigabit per second speed if you have a wired connection. Um, I'll explain to you here what all the lights do. They're very bright, which I kind of like, and there's a lot of them. This is the power light. This flashing light means it's ready to be used. This light right here means it's receiving internet. This is the wireless light, and it blinks when it's sending a wireless signal, like when it's getting transmission. This is Use, this is when you have something being used using the share port technology which I'll get to later and these four lights here are lit up when you have something connected to them I only have one thing connected now I know on this video they just kinda look like blue lights but once you see them in person this actually looks like a power light and they actually look like something but they're very bright the DIR655 has three antennas one here one there and one there which gives you farther range and speed I guess it's an N router so it's very fast uh, I'm gonna be looking at the back ports here I'm trying to get it out so you can see them well alright I don't know if you can see them but you have antennas you have power reset button the this is a USB port right here where you're able, they call it the share port technology, where you can hook up a printer or an external hard drive and you can access it with everyone that's connected on your network. This is a uh, internet in, so I have this connected to my cable modem. Um, antenna, and this is an eth it has four ethernet ports for plugging in wired connections. So let's put that back. Now after experimenting with all the different antenna configurations, horizontal and stuff. I found that this gives the best range and I will run a test later to show you that it does have the best range. So, that's the DIR655 and I hope you enjoyed this review. So, this is the test to show how the different orientations of the DIR655 affect the actual range. Now, I have a Netgear WGPS 606 and currently it's getting, I don't know if you can see that, but it's getting 65% signal. Now, if we take a tour through my house, I'll show you where it's positioned. So my computer's over there. We walk down this hall. in here and there it is so now getting assuming that that's getting 65 percent signal that's really good so now let's walk all the way back over here and if we flip the DIR 655 into its horizontal orientation like this like that and then we refresh the page. Now it's only getting 45% signal. So that proves that the vertical orientation uh, is a better for range than the horizontal orientation. Hello, right now I'm going to be doing a tour of the DIR655 online setup page. So we open up Firefox, type in the IP address of the router, which is default 192.168.0.1, type in a password, 
So right now, this is the online setup page. It's very nice, has many things you can tweak and mess with. Uh, right now, it's on the status page, which shows you basically everything about the router. should probably not show you the MAC address. But there, um, I mean, it's this is good. You can go to Tools. This will let you upgrade the firmware, and like, if you want it to send you emails when something happens, you can set that up. Now, when you go to the advanced settings, you see this huge amount of things you can tweak with all these fields of whatnot. Uh, port forwarding. Now, a unique thing about this router that some other routers have, but this actually works very well, is the quality of service engine. And what this does is it knows what basically wireless and wired transmissions it's sending out and if let's say if one person in your house is playing on their computer they're playing an online game and they need a lot of bandwidth to play so it doesn't have lag and another person is just surfing the internet what the quality of service engine does is it knows who's playing the game and it gives them majority of the bandwidth and it does actually work because I have an Xbox 360 as I showed you before with the WGPS thing and basically uh, before when I had my old router I would always get laggy when I was my whenever my brother was on his computer but then with this router it's no lag so that's very nice I, I love this quality of service feature and it does actually work uh, another thing about this router is it has advanced firewalls so you're gonna get really good security with this router um, a bad part about this router is that if you want to change like any setting it requires like a reboot of the router so if I wanna uncheck that and click save it says reboot now or reboot later and then if you click reboot now it makes you wait 15 seconds for the router to re reboot and then down here you see that right now I have internet and that'll turn into an X very soon. So if you could just wait a second. Meanwhile, you can see Cartman. Yeah, and then, yeah, it's an X. So that's gone. But then, if we connect again. Don't know whose network that is. There it is, there's my network. So right now it's connecting right after the reboot of the settings so now you can see we basically have internet again do we? I don't know. oh it doesn't say internet yet. give me a second local come on internet yes okay so the internet's back and that's good Oops. So now we're back on this page. Now another thing you can do is go to wireless settings and do a manual setup. And this will allow you to change anything about wireless. What signals you want to send, your channel width. Check out my other video to see how you can make your internet speed faster. Right now, normally you'd be getting 130, but with a few of the tweaks, you can get 300. So check out my other video if you want to know how to do that and overall it's a really great router so yeah thanks for watching see ya hi and welcome to Dan's how to's I'm Dan uh, today's lesson is going to be extremely short because I'm just going to show you guys something real fast um, it's going to be a, like how to change your IP. Uh, your IP address is kind of like a house address, except it's for your computer and the street is the internet. Um, it like the the reason why you would change your IP is maybe because a site has blocked your IP address. Uh, so like things like Mega Video and things like that. Um, if you watch more than uh, seventy five minutes of video, then they do block your IP for a certain amount of time. And to get around that. 
uh, basically all you have to do is change your IP and it's like that for uh, things like rapid share limits you know IP bans on websites you know stuff like that uh, it's really good for uh, Ventrilo servers too if you're into um, harassing and trolling Ventrilo servers um, then if you get banned all you have to do is just change your IP and you hop back in and you get back into it um, so I'm going to uh, start up a web browser here I use Google Chrome uh, you can use anything really and this is extremely simple basically um, you have uh, your you need your uh, routers address so mine is 192.168.0.1 uh, and I've got a D-Link DIR615 router but I mean they're really all similar if you just google your um, your router uh, you, you could probably easily find it um, so then you go here uh, for a lot of routers the username is just admin and then just no password but it might be different for you so you might want to look into that before you do it um, then you got like a bunch of uh, options here uh, every single page is different but they're all they all got pretty much a, the same layout you got um, your advanced options your tools your your status stuff and you got a bunch of stuff on the side maybe uh, so you're gonna want to look at um, the status area and you got all your information here uh, so yeah what you do is basically like it should be really simple you just click disconnect and then connect back again and uh, see now it's establishing so it's just reconnecting itself sometimes it takes a while yeah there you go so now my IP has changed uh, there's also a really easy way to do this uh, if you don't want to do all that it's just unplug your router and plug it right back in Wait a couple seconds and boom, you should be back on the internet and with a different IP address.